Hey class, this is Mr. Jared, and this video is going to be for our next exercise. It's going to be all about uh, selection tools and the different ways you can select areas of your images. It doesn't sound exciting, but it really is. It's one of the most important things. It's the difference between good Photoshop and bad Photoshop. All right, we're going to do a couple of tools in each video. Here are the marquee tools that we used a little bit in the first exercise and here are the lasso tools. I'm going to hold down space and control and drag the mouse to zoom in. That's a great shortcut. And if I hold down just the space bar I can move the image around. So between those two shortcuts you can save a lot of time here. So I'm going to get it where I want and I'm going to select it. Now first I'm going to select it with a lasso. I'm going to select it very badly. If I hold down shift I can add to the selection without losing it. And if I hold down alt while I do it I can delete from my selection. So the lasso tool is important. It's very good at selecting certain things. It is not good at selecting a blurry tennis ball. But I'm just showing you how you can add to and subtract from the selection using that. If I grab it with the selection tool and move it with the mouse, it'll move the selection, but it won't move what's inside the selection. If I click outside the selection, it'll disappear. Now I'm going to do it with the elliptical tool. It's under the rectangular marquee tool. If you hold it down, it's like a hidden tool. And you can make any kind of ellipse you want. If I hold down shift, it'll keep it as a perfect circle. And for the rectangle, if you hold down shift, it'll keep it a perfect square. Okay. Um, if you want to move the selection while you're doing it, don't let go of the mouse and hold down the space bar. And you can actually move the selection while you're making it, uh, which is a really good uh, trick to do if you need it. Okay, if I hit the move tool and I move the selection, it's going to leave a blank spot because it moves the content, the pixel information, out of the selection like that. If I hold down alt with the move tool, it clones it. See, it left the original ball and made a new copy. I'm going to use control X to cut it, control V to paste it, and it puts it into a new layer automatically. Now I can grab it on that layer, that layer selected, and I can put the ball on the dog's head or on the steps, anywhere we want. I'm just going to move it a little bit further away from the original ball so that the shading on the ball is not something I have to change too much. All right. Now it's on its own layer, and in the, in the last exercise we played with layer opacity so if I change that the ball turns into a ghost ball or I can grab the layer itself wait let me name it first you should keep your layers named and organized I can drag the layers into a different order the ball layers on the bottom we don't see it now so I'm going to put it back up where it is it's like a stack of papers um, there we go so that's selected 